Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. I want to talk to you today about the Anytone DMR radios, the mobile D578, and the handheld D878. And a lot of you have both of these radios, and you'd really like to program them the same. Let me show you how easy that is with the RT Systems programmer. I have opened a file for the 878, and I have the 578, and I want to program it. And I've gotten the RT Systems programmer for the 578. So I'm going to open the 578 programmer. But for my activities today, I want the two radios programmed alike. File, open. And RT Systems traditionally saves its files in documents, the radio manufacturer, the radio, and I'm going to open that 878 file. So that's where I'm going to go right now. And right down here at the bottom, I'm going to change it to all files. There we go. All files. 878 file. 878 file. Now I'm going to double click here, and it takes it just a bit. It's a big file. And now look at this. And now that I get them arranged so you can look at the two of them, notice the frequencies are all the same, channel 1 through 15. Operating modes are all the same. The bandwidths are all the same. The names are all the same. Everything else to the right are the same. Zones, because I could have copied and pasted and done this part of it. Zones, I have my hotspot. I have my channel A and channel B set up right. I have my channels laid in the same way in both of them. Talk groups. Those lists look very much the same. They appear to be in a little different order. The order really doesn't matter. Group list, scan list. This one I'll scoot over here so you can see there is something to scan. And things are just set up and ready to go. And let's double check the radio ID. And that's even the same. All that remains for you to do in the 578 is save the file. We're going to save it in the 578 directory. And this is 878 file 4 578. Let's take the extension off of it and save. And now it puts the 578 extension back on it. And all that's left for you or to customize the settings for the radio was not opened from the original file in that they are different on the settings side. And so we leave it to you to customize everything here. Don't forget, you've got all kinds of things out here with your key functions, your alerts, your squelch levels. These radios are just really feature packed. But all this part of the program, all this part of the file is ready for you to use. And all the work you had to do was to find the file. A few finger clicks. So this is Karen. And I hope it helped. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.